Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today I am sharing a healthy dinner that is super delicious. I can't wait to share this one. I was pleasantly surprised by these spaghetti squash pizza boats. So stay tuned and don't knock it till you try it. So here are the ingredients that you need to put this together. Obviously, you need a spaghetti squash, some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and some dried basil. I used low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese, but you could use whatever blend of cheese you have. Extra virgin olive oil, your favorite marinara sauce, and then your choice of mix-in. So some type of pepperoni, I'm using turkey, and then I had some cooked shredded chicken. The first thing you wanna do is take your spaghetti squash, pop it in your microwave for five minutes. This will help soften it up and make it much easier to cut. In the meantime, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and be very careful when taking your squash out, it will be quite warm. You want to slice your spaghetti squash right down the middle, and I like to go down one side, flip it around, and the stem part is kind of tough to cut through, so just be careful. Then you can see the pale yellow inside, and you just want to use a spoon to scoop out the seeds. This is very reminiscent of carving pumpkins. A great tip is to use a kitchen towel to help hold your squash in place. Not only is it warm from being in the microwave, but they can get a little bit slippery. So make sure you either have a paper towel or a kitchen towel handy. And I will be honest with you guys, spaghetti squash has not been my favorite in the past, and I really enjoyed it in this recipe. If you have tried it in the past and not liked it like me, maybe it's time to give it a second chance. Once you get them all cleaned out, this is what they're going to look like. We're going to transfer them onto a silicone lined baking sheet, but you can just use a regular baking sheet. Drizzle with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then a little salt and pepper. We're going to flip these two over so that the flat side is facing down. And then we're going to roast these at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. And they turn caramelized on the edges and super soft and sweet. It is so good. In the meantime, we're going to chop up our turkey pepperoni. You can obviously use regular pepperoni or sausage or whatever else you wanted to toss in here, but we were going for a pizza vibe. I crisped up the turkey pepperoni in a cast iron skillet for just a few minutes, and it really added a nice crunch factor. After 30 minutes, this is what your spaghetti squash is going to look like. And you do want to let it sit for a couple minutes to cool off, otherwise you'll probably burn your fingers. So it is darker in color, it smells delicious, and see all that caramelization? That's what you want. So just to be real, I have three kiddos if you guys are new here, and there is no way that they were going to eat this for dinner. So they had these fun little pita pizzas. Once my spaghetti squash has had a chance to cool for a few minutes, I'm just using a paper towel to get a good grip and then using just a regular fork just to shred this. It falls apart. It is so tender. You do just want to make sure that you go all the way down to the skin because we're going to take all of these beautiful ribbons of squash and toss them into a separate bowl to put together our filling. Speaking of our filling, I was going for a pizza spaghetti squash boat on this night, but there are so many different combinations that you could do with this. I like to remove all of the flesh from the inside of the spaghetti squash with just a spoon, and it's okay if there's a little bit left in there, but try to get the majority of it out. And I like to mix my filling in a separate bowl so that everything is incorporated really well. 
I add a little bit of salt and pepper. You can definitely taste it at this point and season it to your personal preference. I also like to add a little bit of garlic powder. This step is totally optional, but you guys know I love garlic. And I'm adding just about half a cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese. You can do a little bit more or a little bit less, again, depending on your preference. The chicken is definitely optional, but this was chicken from the night before. It's just cooked and shredded, and I added a cup of it. I also added in my crisped up turkey pepperoni. And then about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more of a marinara sauce. This is just a marinara sauce that I put together really quickly. It has diced canned tomatoes, a few seasonings, and some tomato paste, and that is it. You just want to mix up your filling so that everything is incorporated. This part does not look very pretty, but I promise you it will taste good. And then divide the filling up into each of your spaghetti squash halves. Now these boats are just about ready to go into the oven. We just have one last step. I'm going to add a little bit of marinara sauce over the top. This adds another layer of flavor and it also keeps everything moist while it's in the broiler. Then we're going to add a little bit more mozzarella cheese and at this point is when you want to turn your broiler on. By finishing these off under the broiler it makes the cheese melt and turn into this beautiful crunchy layer. So much flavor and it looks beautiful too. I like to add a little sprinkling of dried basil just over the top, right before I pop it in. And this sits under the broiler for three to four minutes, if that. And look at all that beautiful color that you get. I wish you guys could smell this. It smelled exactly like a pizza. So once it's cooled for a few minutes, you can plate these up and I serve it right like this in true spaghetti squash boat style. We just had a cucumber and tomato side salad and I sprinkled some cilantro because that's what we had on hand, but this dinner was so good. Definitely exceeded my expectations. If you guys enjoy these types of quick weeknight meals, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Mm -hmm.